Preparations in Moscow ahead of Victory Day on Tuesday, commemorating Soviet sacrifice in the Second World War. Security is a high concern after the drone attack on the Kremlin this month. Moscow called it a Ukrainian attempt to assassinate Vladimir Putin. Kyiv denies any involvement. The important holiday was likely leverage for Wagner Group boss Yevgeny Prigozhin. On Friday, he posted a gruesome video of the bodies of his mercenaries, threatening to withdraw Wagner from the contested Ukrainian city of Bakhmut unless Moscow supplies more arms. Many called it an empty threat, and so it has proved. Prigozhin now says he's gotten those guarantees. His statements that he cares about his troops, uh, that's, that's basically not true. This Canadian analyst of Kremlin politics says it can be difficult to know Prigozhin's true motivations and just how great the rift is with the Kremlin. The more intelligence resources are dedicated to Prigozhin and his theatrics and drama, with the Russian Ministry of Defense, Shoigu, uh, the less we're talking about other you know, factors of what is going on. Further west on the front lines, there's a sense of panic in areas near Europe's largest nuclear power plant in southern Ukraine. Russia is now evacuating towns in the region ahead of an anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. The UN's Atomic Energy Agency boss says he is extremely concerned about the situation, adding that all sides must act now to prevent the threat of a severe nuclear accident. Experts say multiple backup systems make it unlikely that damage to the site would cause a meltdown, but if it does happen, it could affect a 20 to 40 kilometre radius. Redmond Channel Global News, London.